Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy, Mr. Green Adams. I'm here at the allotment. The weather is starting to get cold, damp, and wet. We are in the UK. We are known for water. You will have five weathers, if there is five, in one day in the UK. But it is what it is. And it's that time of year again. It's getting to that October time and it's getting cold. So it's the perfect time just before the frost comes in to get your garlic in the ground. And that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. Let me show you, I have some on the ground right now and I actually purchased some of these and I have some more on the way because I wanna make sure I have enough garlic for next season of growth. Cause garlic is so amazing. It does need the cold, that's why it's the perfect not just the brassicas garlic is perfectly part to plant in the winter and that is the hard neck garlic you know we can grow the soft neck ones but the hard neck ones are just perfect for my cold and unpredictable weather which is in the uk but i say a little bit about that you know i'm trying to say you know what i mean it's all the same it's wet 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 rain and <laughs> some of the some of the same you know what i'm saying but anyway it's looking good it's not too cold yet the soil that i have is perfect to get it in it's full of beautiful um microorganisms and the soil is just rich thanks to all my hard work god damn my mind hard work anyway let's go back to this let me show you yes you are seeing my wellingtons i have my wellington this is the perfect weather for that it's wet it's damp it's cruel but it is what it is so these are the ones that i i purchased these because i wanted to see if i can grow some bigger you know bulbs later on so i bought some really beautiful big cloves but and i have some other ones coming i have 70 more on the on the come up whenever they decide to deliver them to me and i'm going to plant these because obviously when you're planting garlic it's great to have to get a bigger bulb you really have to plant a bigger clove so the bigger the clove is the the higher possibility of you getting a bigger bulb so these are from my last year's crop so these guys are fully climatized to my soil and they did pretty good so but there's a difference in size so that's one of the main thing i wanted to do i, I was looking for elephant ones and the budget wasn't saying a lot, so I had to go with something a little bit cheaper. It's similar to elephant garlic, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna hope. Let me, you know, make sure you guys can see me properly. Hope, and maybe in about a week or two, that I can be able to obtain at least one, up to five, cloves of these amazing amazing garlic known as elephant garlic so these are ones that i have here these are hard neck garlic so i'm going to stick them in the ground these are my own ones that i grow and i'm going to save money <laughs> i'm just going to dismantle them you know trying to they are quite sturdy to drop them and just trying to literally just pluck them off you know pull a few of these things back which are the protectors to make sure it doesn't go bad once it's been dried or cured in the right temperature, they last longer in the right temperature, not moisture. So look at that. See, these are beautiful, but they're not as big as the other one, as I say. But this, I know some of them are small, but I'm going to plant everything because the idea is not just to be able to have garlic. The idea is to make sure the garlics are growing nicely so they can help to protect my spring crop or my summer crop because these will be ready for me within that time frame so i'm gonna break a few of these and i think because i bought 20 so if i add these probably about maybe 30 is there right now approximately there might be a little bit more but it's about 30 cloves and i got three other ones and these are my these are my, my own ones because I wanted to make sure I plant back some, as I said in a, a, a video before, because they, you know, you want to save money and you want the right thing to grow in your garden. So it's great to save one or two out of the other crop that you had or whatever you're growing, whether it's seeds or cloves or uh, something um, to grow back for the next season. So... And these are perfect. I do have some more, but those I'm going to use for cooking. And I'm going to take them home. These are smaller, so that's fine. It's not a problem. These are not a problem. And then I'm just literally going to plant them all around the edges of my garden and see how they do. Because last year I created beds for them. 
but this year I'm going to put them in. So let's go and put them in and explain a few other things while you're planting your garlic. First is just to basically kind of have an idea where I'm going to plant them and then I'm going to try to get them in there as well. So the first thing I always do, hello Mr. Squirrely Whirly, why are you already running for? Why are you running? There's nothing chasing you, you look fatter than a... Anyway, because squirrels do try to come for your corn as well. Look at you. Look at you. Fat like a piece of meat. Anyway, because I've, I've grown these variety of um, garlic in my soil, I know it should do well because my soil is very much rich in loads of beautiful, amazing organic matter because I've been using it and I've been you know, feeding the soil because feeding the soil will eventually create a beautiful habitat for my plants anything that I planted to grow very well. Obviously there's moments where you do have disasters, but that's come with the price. But overall, I think my doing, and in the, let me explain. The way I, I garden now is using the no dig, no till technique that allows me to basically be able to have all the abundance. I would love to show you right now. Let me actually show you, look, like, look. Look at that, the abundance that I have right now. I've got leeks and I've got broccoli, which is just amazing for the, this time of year. And you know, my nasturtion, they should be dead. It's getting cold, they shouldn't even be here, but look, they're still doing quite well. And beetroot, all, my, all of my garden beds has something in there and it's doing really well, but I have to give props to the no dig. So by changing over the, the from, from you know the original way of digging and tilling the soil, doing the no dig way, I am, one of the first people to be able to harvest things and one of the first people to be able to plant in this allotment because I don't have to dig anything. I'm saving myself work, time, effort. And it's shown, shown me anyway that there is worth in what I'm doing because I've seen the results and that's the most important thing that people need to take care of. I have seen the results, I've shown you guys and I've consumed the results because they have my food and my vegetables taste amazing and I can grow things that I never thought I could grow. So by having it i'm just feeding the soil keeping that soil active throughout the time that i have it right now but anyway back to what i was talking about which is the garlic because it's the cold it does need that cold weather to be able to make it into a bowl without that cold weather um, if you do live in a tropical area i would advise you to place them in a the fridge for about six four to six weeks so it can get that coldness because without it a clove being under the the temperature of like minus or should i say under 10 degrees celsius it will never prompt the clove to be able to produce a bulb so you will just be able to grow garlic plants which are good anyway because you can still taste and have all the flavors with the leaves but everybody's looking for that bulb in the long term because it's rather than just have one you can have two so you would have the leaves and you have um, slips as well it does give you slips and you will have a garlic bulb in the end product which is just beautiful which are oh, let me just almost turn these over these are them so hey Let's do this. Because my soil is super amazing right now. So I'm gonna just, because this is the edging that I wanna keep. So I've got some other things that are planted here, but I wanna make sure to protect everything. So I've got my dibber. I do not wanna plant them too deep. Let me get you guys over here so you can see how far down, because garlic do not bear or do not grow on the ground. They grow on the top of the soil. So it's not gonna be too deep. It's approximately maybe about two inches because this is the whole dibber here. It did have some numbers in here, but I, over the years, I've removed them thanks to digging up the soil. So you, I used to use this as a measuring um, tool, but it's eroded right now, but it's okay. I have an idea. I've never, it's never failed me yet. So I just want to stick it in and just like that. But you have to make sure that this is the part that connects to the soil. You don't want to plant it that way, down. You don't want to plant it this way down. You want to plant it that end, the flat end down, like a triangle. Or should I say, an, uh, yeah, like a triangle. So you, this part goes down to the soil and this is where it grows out of once it's open up and grow. So I'm going to pop these in just like that using my dibber and my hand i'm keeping them approximately six inches apart which is i think that's pretty good 
you know some people bundle them i try to keep them a little bit of a distance the main reason why i'm keeping them a little bit of a distance because when the time comes i can plant something in between them and that would help to protect my guard my garden throughout the summer season so let me grab put them in and hopefully you'll be able to reap the benefit of it later on when you come come back and see them next year but i'll give you a update before 2025 because they, these guys should start sprouting up maybe about november but you guys get to see them So guys, I have literally planted them all along. If you look there, look there, not too far down, just enough for them to come through because they will grow on top. So yeah, you see, even though you guys are saying, oh, maybe that's not far enough. Nah, that's okay. It's okay. There's one down here as well. You see there, around the side. So I've literally covered that bed, this bed here, and this bed here. And I did have some planted along here, but you guys, I did it while I was down here beforehand, which is another day before, but it's okay. And that is it. That is how you start and getting it into the right time because you don't want to wait till it, the frost comes in and the, the, hard, the hardness of the soil will mm, get it in right now, which is in right now is October before your first frost day to make sure you have a good chance because the plants will start to grow in a couple of weeks before the frost for us here in the UK. But yeah, plant your garlic right now because it does require that cold freeze you to have a garlic bulb in the long term. Or else you can put it in the fridge and then plant it out if you are in warmer or tropical climates. This is your boy, Mr. Green Hands. Don't forget to take care of yourself and the planet. Yeah, we might be, look at it. We had rain, cold, and now sunshine. Typical English weather. What can I say? I work in all weathers. Yes, see you guys next time.